All right. Good morning, Speed Gaming, or afternoon, or wherever you are. Um, more link to the past tournament. Uh, today we have tournament hard mode. So what you saw in the quals, that's what we're going to see today. We have Koi versus Illis in Group D. Koi, the second quartile player. Illis, the first quartile player. My name is Tracy M. Joining me today is Willard J. Bradley. How are you doing, Willard? Hey, I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, too. Um, yeah, German heart open. We're, you know, nothing, nothing new here. Uh, lots and lots and lots of heart pieces. Um, Too many to or, say. Yeah, many heart pieces. You go into blind sight and you get five heart pieces. You're like, all right, let's go. I mean, in, in blind sight, maybe that's not so bad because you've got no heart containers at that point. But yeah, I would <laughs> rather get actual items. Than so would I. So would endless I. <laughs> amounts of heart pieces. But then again, that's me. Like I, I'm used to working with like low low hp and stuff like that so like, give me yeah. the goods but but not those goods but uh yeah um yeah well we capped it tempered sword one bottle no mail upgrades and here we go a nice oh, yeah, bomb pickup for koi mm -hmm. yeah the early bombs means you don't have to spend time farming them because that's oh, always like the dilemma of like the, uh, the starting yeah. round in open mode is like okay do I just rush Kakariko and hope bombs show up off of like the bush crabs or something, or do I farm bombs on the south route to Kakariko? Yeah, and Koi is going to take those bombs straight over to Saha. Uh, I know he's been doing the uncle start of late, but uh, with bombs, he's like, you know what? I can do this this check of three real quick. Uh, it looks on the other hand, it looks like he got a bomb drop from something. Uh, he's yeah, one of the green guards one dropped one, so. Oh, that's good. That means you're going to have bombs are not going to be a huge issue in general once you have something to kill things with. <laughs> mm -hmm, for sure. What do we got in Saha? So we got a bottle. Oh. Our only bottle we're going to get. Oh, and a bomb tree pull. Well, bombs yeah. are not going to be a problem. Uh, if uh, if if there's something on Sick Kid and there aren't, isn't another bottle for a while, that, that could be significant. Mm -hmm. We also did see our overworld dungeon prize. We got a pendant at Hera and at Eastern with a crystal, potentially Pyramid Fairy crystal, at Desert. So we're going to be doing a lot of Dark World dungeons for sure today. When you see Pendant in the Light World, how does that make you feel? Does that make you feel well, good? good? I, I kind of worry more about seeing Pendants in the Dark World because that means if, you know, if you have to do a Pendant dungeon and it's like Hera or Easter, those are fairly quick dungeons. Uh, I don't like to see the big dungeons as pendants because then if you have to go in them and there's nothing there it's just a, a complete time loss mm -hmm. yeah i guess the, the other side is that with uh, more crystals in the dark world means generally more items are required to beat the seed yeah okay uh, we, we are going to see also like tier two i think was, tier two or tier three was red rupees we got a love in blind <laughs> and a powder oh, on the lumberjack that ledge, is so. That is probably my least favorite see thing to see there. Because not only is it an unknown, do I need to do magic bat? I mean, yes, you can maybe do fake powder. In which, in which case, oh, yeah, if you that's... get a mushroom, you, you want to prioritize that fake powder. Mm -hmm. uh, you are like it's, setting it's the up one to save fetch, scum that. Yeah, it's the one fetch quest item that actually has other uses. You know, it's that one safety. It's my favorite safety. That, uh, yeah, 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 not gonna have it. Can't get those nice refills. And with only one bottle, it, it's, I think, even in, even bigger to not have the, the potential of powdering uh, anti fairies. Yeah, it's a nice safety to have. Kind of stinks to end up like consistently or knowing you're gonna probably miss out on it for the entire run. Yeah. Um, I think for me, the worst thing to see at Lumberjack. Because, like, when I see something required at Lumberjack that I know is required yeah, 100%, it's like, whatever. You I'm just fine with that. Like I'm like, cool. Yeah. All right, cool. I know what I have to do. <laughs> There's no mystery. I know what to do. Um, But when I see the book there, I'm like, huh, come on. Oh, that's come a on. terrible one. That's an absolutely <laughs> awful one. Because that has, you know, two items behind it. Plus, do you need it for desert? Mm. I think late book is just, like, one of the worst things to show. Oh, up. yeah, absolutely. Bill is doing another trip through the bottom of the, or the well to grab some more rupees to grab the bottle vendor. So that's done. Good check. Chicken Hut. A couple more spots here in Kakariko. And I mean, we are walking out of here with a glove and bombos. Anything else? Yeah, it looks like we have a blue boomerang, which I mean is kind of nice for, you know, when you don't have a sword to get around, but not really particularly useful. Well, it's not going to give us any progression, but it is. No. It's 
you know, check those stun prizes. Maybe it's more rupees. Maybe it's more bombs. Um, there are definitely situations where I'm like, man, I really wish I had a boomerang like in Paradox Cave or walking into Tower of Hera, stuff like that, where you're like, yeah. I need to switch, but I don't have a ranged <laughs> weapon and I don't want to waste my bombs. A boomerang would do just fine. Okay, does the library have anything for us to stare at and get later? Nope. Nope. That is a piece of heart that is just going to sit there and rot and never get picked up. <laughs> Alright, where's our swords? Where's our boots? Where's our anything? Not here. Not here, alright. That is All a right. pretty light Kakariko. Mm-hmm. I mean, Bombos might like... not even be needed. I mean, we'll need the glove. That, that is a thing. But the, but the Bombos may or may not be required. And yeah, that's that's what we got. I feel like Kakariko has been a lot more barren, uh, at least in this flag set, just mm. from my experience with the qualifiers. Now, I only ended up doing four qualifiers, so that's not much to base things on. But still, it's like heart pieces, no plenty. Anything else? Not so much. Yep. Pretty much. I mean, that heart piece is so, in a way, just they just get kind of boring. <laughs> you know, you almost yeah. want arrows to show up just to break it up. Well, there's a bottle. Oh, hey, we have one more check for Koi that uh, Illus oh, was yeah. not able to do. Let's see if this is anything. Survey says, yes, it is. Oh my. <laughs> okay, now, so how long until Illus gets back there? Yeah, Illus needs to find like the flute or, you know makes their dark world entry via that portal or something yeah <laughs> now of course hookshot doesn't really do too much for us until we get up like death mountain yep which we can do with a sequence break without the lamp yep. so that's uh probably gonna be something on koi's mind though i don't i don't know how much you know there's there's oh, oh hey nice. boots. yay early boots is always nice there's definitely players that like to try and stay in logic as long as possible or try and avoid the sequence breaks and stuff like that. I'm not sure how, if that happens to be our players today right here. But, uh, you know, I would definitely rather sequence break up the mountain than go to, like, Pendant Eastern or something. Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I mean, if you're, if you're just sequence breaking the lamp, um, one of the things I like about that play in particular is depending on what you find in the mountain, if you find a flute, then you know you're just sequence breaking the lamp and maybe you don't need it. If you find mm -hmm. the lamp up there, then you know that you're sequence breaking the, the flute and you know it's going to be in, in an early sphere. It's the power of the sequence break. You get all that sweet, sweet knowledge. Yep. I will say having a hook shot would make this mini moldering cave a little bit. It, it really would. <laughs> less painful. <laughs> no, he's got enough bombs. He, he, it isn't so bad. Like once you get that first one, you know, that's always my big concern. Once I get that first one killed, I, I really don't worry too much about the other three. But mm -hmm. that first one can really heck you up if you don't get, do it carefully. And we do get a moon pearl. And 300 bucks and a can of burn it. Yeah. The so 300 bucks will help us to uh, get that money that we need for some of our later checks. Including like Zora or getting into the pod or even like digging game chess game. So always good to see yeah. that money. Not enough for Zora, yes. And, and Koi is just going to go ahead and do a Dark Cross right now. I don't think we've seen a map though. I, I kind of would like this better. We did see we, the map. Oh, we did see the map. Okay. Then, yeah, then map this is in the fine. back. If you know it, yeah. If you know the, the it's not the map, you know it's not the small key. Uh, unfortunately, it's just a heart piece. And Ice Rod Cave giving us bits. <laughs> okay, well, that's Dark World. <laughs> I mean, this is good. I mean, when you have early mitts, like, you can go Village of Outcasts right away, and that might send Illus back to go get their hookshot. Possibility there, but if it's it, <laughs> if it's me, I'm thinking, oh, man, where's my hammer? Where is it going to show my... up? Where's my uh, hammer? Is it going to be I, another do I need cheeky to do a... late hammer seed? Do I need to do a blue cane blind fight? <laughs> Which with uh, no half magic and no and uh, an empty bottle, uh, not a free fight at all. So maybe Waterfall Fairy will uh, dish out. Provide, yeah. Uh -huh. Boomerang. Let's see, what what do we fill in our bottle with? Red. Red. Well, I mean, that's, that's nice, but uh, it's not going to help you on the blind fight. You have enough magic. Mm -hmm. And Koi's going to go do a Gina. Interesting. So... Just grabbing this one off, maybe grabbing info on. Nope, not even gonna grab the desert info. With boots, that surprises me. Uh, 
it's a I, quick I, check and it's, it's it's free info. It's right there. But yeah, it's, understandable. It's Gotta slow. skip some stuff. Without boots, it's really slow. I tend not to do it, but with boots, it's you know, a few seconds. Uh, let's see if the uh, man under the bridge has anything but bombs. You know, we're we're done with that. Uh, Koi with 300 rupees there. Uh, if he chooses to, he could afford to do Zora right now. Um, assuming he goes to Mini Moldorm next. And hopefully for Koi, well, yeah, gonna gonna have to go that direction because you know we need we know we need that Moon Pearl. We know we need that those mitts. And uh, those gloves do also put in Zora in logic, so Zora could have something in our next progression chain. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to be looking for flippers. <laughs> well, okay. Zora now in logic or available. Zora, very much in logic. Uh, yeah. Even more. Twice oh, as boy. much. Oh, boy. So we're starting to get to the point where this seed is going to really be opening up. And look, at we're just a sword away from that hammer being an ice palace. You. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I know that's your. It's my favorite too. <laughs> it's uh yeah. It's like all right. Is it ice it's, or it's is it pod? <laughs> oh, but hey, a sword. Boots, the boots provide a sword, so that just makes the use town a thousand times better if we decide to do it. Although we're still risking orphaning the big chest, which is always a concern because we don't have a hammer. Mm. I, I find the, the, the thieves. Good. The thieves conundrum is. Uh, I find a very interesting one because. Like, if, if you don't get a big key in the front, chances are that the, the play isn't in logic. Because you don't have... Oh, sorry, if you don't get the small key in front. Um, mm -hmm. But on the other hand, if you don't get the small key in front, there's a really good... There's a much better chance that you can just finish the dungeon and never have to go back. Yeah, because it'll be locked by itself. <laughs> yep. Okay, yep. well, this is an interesting development. Ellis is going to be heading up the mountain, missing out on the hookshot. Yeah, a little so. unfortunate that he's doing this without the hookshot. Because uh, he's only going to be able to check a couple items. Uh, and unless mm. Mirror shows up, he's not going to be able to go any further. Uh, if Koi decides to do this, he has that hookshot already. Koi also can do some water walk shenanigans. It's funny that they both basically did the exact same setup. Take the Start the water walk right there and then dash all the way up. Um, so it looks like I'm assuming Koi's going to probably backtrack and head to Zora. Judging by the fact that they're doing hobo first. Yeah, he, he's got the money for it. I, I'm not a huge fan of this just because now you have to do the fake flipper and it's slow to fl flipper back. Um, I tend to like to choose one or the other uh, and not do both of these. Oh, okay, he's just going to do the one. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, assuming, he checks, it... assuming he does his boots checks, he's going to get flippers. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but, uh, what is, are we doing... Are we going to in escape? The castle? Yeah, we are. That's, what we're, that's where we're going. And it was about to get his hook shot after he was on the mountain. I wonder if he'll save and quit right back there. I do like this though. Like, yes, you have dark old access. Yes, there's you can you can head right there and start doing all that stuff. But you know, there's still going to be a couple things left here in the light world, and you don't want to miss out on them. And it's bad dark world access. Let's face it, mitts dark world access not the friendliest, and for so many reasons. Mm hmm. And yeah, you were right. It was heading right back up the mountain. Yeah, I mean, with with mitts and hookshot, like you can do everything on the east side, both dark and light mm -hmm. world. You can find out uh, what the Turtle Rock Medallion is. Uh, we don't know yet whether it's pendant or a crystal. Uh, good chance it's a crystal, though, considering we only have one more pendant left. And a lot of information you can get out of this. But Koi's going to do the escape on hookshot and blue cane. Which, honestly, you know, with something to stun the guards with, this is actually pretty easy. Yeah, it's not too bad. Just kind of unfortunate. Going to be a little bit of time loss compared to, you know, doing it with a, this, a sword. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got tons of stuff here up on Death Mountain. We are obviously looking for a lot of things. We still need to see our Dark World dungeons. So not necessarily sure what all our required items are wow. going to be. We see That's three heart pieces across screen. the board. <laughs> Let's more go. <laughs> I mean, look at their health. They need more hearts, of course. Can I see at least three more heart pieces? There's one. There's one. <laughs> and ah, arrows. Just arrows. 
A flute. flute. Okay, so it's the lamp that we're breaking to get up here. That does give us that information. Oh, there's two. Oh, <sighs> 50 bucks. Well, maybe so Quill will one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and there oh, it I is. Like, I, I like that bomb setup. I never saw that one. That one's much faster. Be funny. It wouldn't surprise me if we see a lamp here in, in Zelda Cell. Now that we know that it's going to be in a relatively early sphere with that flute showing up. Mm hmm. I mean, it could also just be deep in the dark world somewhere. Yeah, it could. And then just the mountain stuff just doesn't get into logic for a long time. Yeah, early flute's nice. Let's just, you know, route the overall a little bit quicker. Scout some stuff like, you know, mire. Oh, oh, and, oh wow. baby. That okay, so, so now, nice. now, uh, uh, well, Okay, okay. I, I suspect this is going to lead Koi up the mountain as well. I mean, that's a hammer that you can do. Well, hair, nah, hair is a pendant, though. I was going to say don't do hair, but hair is a pendant. So maybe he doesn't prioritize it. It'll be interesting to see what he decides to do. It is a lot of checks, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm just happy that the hammer... Well, I mean, hammer in Zelda Cell is kind of in a... When you have Dark World that's Axis already... not like, a great spot. I mean, it's still better than, uh, you know, Ice Palace or Pod. Yeah. But, because, you know, Pod's in logic with flippers. You know, we can get there from yeah. the Dark World. So, uh... Oh, that's good Koi for Koi, not finding that. Bokrox. He looks like he's headed over to the Zora area. Okay, Super Bunny Cave. To the heart piece. What? <laughs> And money. Bucks. We still haven't seen our Dark World dungeons yet, have we? No, we haven't. May Only maybe one pendant in the Dark menu. World. Maybe it'll be T-Rock, so we won't. This won't turn into an ice rod hunt. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Perhaps. All right, what do we got here? Five bucks. Anything else? <laughs> We're good on money. Oh, there's all right. Well, it won't be an ice rod hunt anyway, so. <laughs> no Way ice else. rod hunts today, at least not in this seed. And that's the highlight of that room. And if this turns out to be Pendant Turtle Rock with that ice rod having just shown up. Oh, I mean, that, that that's what happens, right? No, it's not what happens. <laughs> Green Pendant, Pendant, Pendant Skull. Skull Woods. Okay. okay, I didn't see the other one. No, wait, that is the other one. That's the only one left. Uh, it is Bombo, for... so yeah, don't need to worry about medallions quite yet. All right, so we'll need Mir for Swamp. We'll need Samaria. There's a book. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it, it could be a good thing for Koi if there's something behind it, or it could end up just wasting some of his time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's always That's fun. That's true, yeah. Yeah, Koi finding some good stuff along the way compared to just an ice rod. I mean, all, of course, ice rod's great. But, you know, that ice rod is pretty much on the way while that hammer and that book yeah, are Yeah, no one, no one's missing that ice rod. I would almost want to see what's on Desert Ledge now with that book, but, you know, Yeah, not extremely run down. sad. Yeah, Koi is maybe kicking himself for not having checked the ledge, but, you know, it's one of those things, you know. I, I... We're going to see it, though, it... in just a second. It is rubies. Okay, so <laughs> of course. he won't be kicking himself once he does see it. <laughs> All right, well, let's find out what medallion we need for Misery Mire while we check Mire's shit. Koi's going to be heading up to get their eventual flute ice rod. It is also Bombo, so we are we're good on medallions. Wow, the seed is uh, kind of being nice. It's a nice seed. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Well, Hammer and Zelda Cell is still something that Illus uh, might take a while to get back to. But yeah, other than that... But it's that, not an Ice Palace. So, it's not you know. an Ice Palace. Uh, it's not First Chest Swamp. That's another classic. Because <laughs> that's the thing is, like, you see flippers, sword, bombos. You're thinking... I would be thinking, if I didn't have Hammer already, that that's where that it would probably be an Ice Palace. So of course, it'd be, like, one of the last things I'd do. But, uh... Looks like Ellis is heading into the Dark World. We'll Probably going to head decides, down. See if he decides to do uh, uh, Thieves Town that and, and take that risk. I think we're going to see some Skull Woods action first, though. 
get that pendant check out of the way, see if you can grab the two items in here early. Yeah, this is one of those locations that, you know, is definitely a, a, a split, you know. There's a, the, there's the school of thought that says it's just overworld. Um, mm -hmm. I, I do not subscribe to that except in key sanity modes because it's overall with a bunch of keys in it. <laughs> it's cool. it's yeah, I mean, three keys. Not to mention map compass big key. Like, that's six dungeon items that you could be picking up and maybe they all end up being in the front. It's very easy to waste your time checking skull woods and then have it have both items be fire rod locked or something yep. to that degree. I'm grabbing that flute out of Paradox Cave. Yeah, I wonder if we'll see Hera on Koi's side. You know, yes. there's always that possibility that there's a mirror sitting in there, and the only uh, means you can get there is with that hammer. Pendant Hera is definitely a thing. Now, I'd, I could, I think you at least check the main floor, and then you make a decision from there. Uh, I don't Hera yeah. pot for a Pendant Hera. <laughs> could also if, check, it, if it's uh, just a small key, I leave. <laughs> <laughs> right. Could also check a uh, Ether Tablet. Can't get the item, but can at least get the information about what's there. All right, swing and a miss so far in the Skull Woods, getting a small key and a compass. Let's see what else we got. There's a shovel. Uh, TBD. <laughs> swing and a know. miss and a dig. <laughs> Let's see what else we got over here. Can we? I mean, if you can get both items, then that's good. Until of course, you know, there's a uh, something on that green pendant. It's like nothing of value on the ether tablet, and we are gonna go into here real quick. So all we got out of that oh no, we have the big chest still. Still could be another item in here in the in the front. Or it could just be another small key. So second item is in the back. Second item will be fire rod locked. We uh, probably won't see that for a while. Looks like Koi's just grabbing the bombs. Yeah, I didn't see whether we picked up a big key or a small key. Uh, I but... did not either. It's so what is, what is the next thing? What is the next thing we want to be looking for for these runners? Obviously, Illus would probably want that hammer. For sure. But uh, uh, what mirror... would be next? Not a mushroom. Well, knowing where the powder is, now you want Kana Samaria, so you can just do that. Oh, fake, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just do that fake powder. And just push the, put the entire uh, Aga question to rest. I guess. Or a bow. A bow's bow, good. Bow's pretty good. That'll be Bundle really hammer. good for Koi. Yeah, that'll give him, uh, you'll be able to full clear pod when he goes in there. Um, yeah. Might want the problem I now mean, is no fire source, the... but you can do it. The, the spots for this hammer to be for Illus are, are starting to get a little bigger with yeah. that bow now. Because now that puts yeah, you know, hammer a and little pod bit is, more upon. Yeah, hammer and pod is a thing. We saw that yesterday in a, in a race I called. In fact, it was hammer and bow. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why shouldn't the hammer and bow just be sitting Disgusting. in pod? <laughs> right, where's the that small this lamp? Yeah, so now you would just be hoping that it's map or compass in the big chest. But then if you pull a map or compass in the front as well, then you're like, then do you bail? I typically I see do. A, there's, there's a lot of runners, I think, that will just go ahead and do it no matter what. Like, they don't really care. Yeah, I, I've had it work out both ways. I mean, I've been punished for leaving early. And um, one, I, I once was, I, I've been punished for leaving early, but I've also been saved by uh, leaving early in... Like, all these things are possible. At least, it looks like... I don't think that... I think that was on purpose, so I'm guessing that he's just done. Yeah. Grabs a Master Sword, gets on out of there. That's another one of our required items. We'll need that to beat Ganon later. Two more swords I, uh, out there. Only one of them will... One of them will turn into a green 20 if we get both. Koi picking up their Ice Rod. Which is... A big sigh of relief. It's nice knowing it's not going to be an ice rod hunt because that is oh, it's such a it's it, such a drag. <laughs> I mean, I I've gone on record saying the boots is the worst 
go mode. Boots go mode. <laughs> I'll boots take go give mode. me give me an ice rod hunt any day over a boots. Hunt, I don't know. But... Would you? Would you? Would, I mean, yes, because <laughs> because you know, the ice rod hunt theoretically I mean, have the boots. Now, if you, you, if you ask me again, I don't have the boots for that ice rod hunt. Then I'll give you a different answer. <laughs> I mean, yes. On one hand, not having boots for entire seed is awful. And getting to, are you talking about like boots go mode to beat desert or something? Or yeah. is it boots go mode because there's a, tor a big key on the GT torch? Oh, that, that's probably worse, but nah. I mean, the yeah. more common one that is one, boots that go one. mode for desert. <laughs> I, I had, I did a practice uh, MC boss shuffle that had a big key on torch and I had to go find the boots. And guess where mm. they were? Left side swamp. <laughs> oh, <course. no. laughs> and is that, uh, I would last location that pretty badly. <laughs> I, I did. It was great. Um, yeah, this uh, this is interesting for Illus because also depending on what they find next could send them on a different route. Now, if you're to Illus, them from you have going a bow. to Hyrule Castle. Yeah, he has a bow, um, so he could basically do all of Pod except the boss. Do you go do that? I mean, we know he's not going to find a hammer there, but he doesn't. Know yeah. That. Koi, on the other I hand, know. I think I think Koi, I think we'll see Pod from Koi sooner rather than later. Uh, he's gonna do. There's no reason for Koi not to finish these sound right now, but I fully expect we'll see that. There's the rest of Illus's Zora money. They want to get that book, and gonna yeah. continue on. So this might be that trip over to Pod. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, this is a fine play, you know, from his perspective. There's every possibility the hammer's there. It's still a, a maximum of five items. At least four items are going to show up. Um, you don't have to worry about whether to do dark turtles because uh, you don't have you don't have the ability to do it because you don't have that hammer. So that's <laughs> right. at least something. <laughs> that that to me is that's the the scary dark room is the dark mm. turtles. Yeah, it can be pretty rough. Uh... With fire rod, I think it's pretty easy, but without yeah, you know, with fire rod because there's always you just. When you screen transition, you just walk to the left a little while yep. charging your sword facing down. And you can do an easy torch light and then you're good to go. Uh, I think it, it can help if you have like ether or something, because then you can knock some over and then ether yeah. to try and see how many you kill. Or even just using the bow to try and locate where the turtles are in the dark is helpful too. But um, yeah, right now this, this race definitely advantaged towards Koi just because of that hammer in Zelda Cell. And I think that play uh, was probably just because Koi hadn't checked <clears throat> the Boncrox and King's Tomb and didn't find those two really good items, like a sword and flippers, and mm -hmm. um, probably felt the need to keep looking and just managed to choose the right thing. I mean, the Hyrule Castle is, you know, basically a, another pendant dungeon. Just Pretty much, yeah. You gain and nothing we... from completing it if you don't find anything good in there. And we are bowlocked. That's... Good. I, mean, I, I, I you know, if I'm coming in with a bow, I kind of like like it to be bow locked. Yeah, because makes it, it just makes <clears> it a little more uh, enticing that there's going to be something back here. And of course, with uh, this this mode in particular, not having progressive bows, we're not going to find so. I mean, we could find silvers. We're not going to find the second bow here, so we're not going to find a bow locked bow. We are seeing further into Thieves Town on Koi's side. Let's see what kind of items we got. We got 20 bucks. We're looking, like, right now, if Koi manages to, like, pull out the mirror or something, then that changes that route down to, you know, you sure can go does. to Swamp Palace next, or, you know, you find Kana Samaria, and then all of a sudden, okay, I can go to, go to Misery Mire. Of course, still, this it's is so where... This is the other spot that not having hammer is kind of annoying because we don't have a mirror, we don't have a hammer, so you can either walk out or death warp. Uh, Illus choosing mm -hmm. to death warp, which, you know, is going to be the faster way unless you have a bazillion hearts and red mail. Although even with red mail, the spikes will still do a heart a damage pie. It could potentially be faster to death warp. Here it's a no-brainer. Useless ether. At least not for progression purposes or anything like that. Was it two keys? Uh, I guess it was two keys. Yeah, it would have been two keys on the on the right side. So we are, do need to keep looking for that item in the front. Oh, 
or not non small key. I mean, the actual vanilla big key. key. <laughs> Well, nothing really, nothing new really showing up in these dungeons, just clearing them out. It's gonna, you know, did, we're uh, almost you 30 minutes in and getting our first crystal, which is Did you good. see what, the, what was in the big chest? I did not see what was in the big chest. Uh, it was a compass. Okay, so, yeah. Illus, if he just chooses to do these down, we'll not be missing anything out of that. <laughs> another hard piece. Because <laughs> why piece. not? <laughs> you know, normally the bosses give like heart containers in the vanilla game, but they've been downgraded to heart pieces. That's right. Ooh, Ooh. Kane of Samaria. Okay, well, I mean, at least Illus can continue towards clearing dungeons, because I mean Yeah, but no, you don't want to go to Meyer without a fire source. That's 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 a foolish choice. And Koi's not gonna be missing that cane. There's that mushroom for Koi. So yeah, we just need Fire Rod and Mirror. That's that's pretty much it. That's all we're looking for. Okay, Harmless Hallway is going to have a small key, so Illus is going to skip it. Koi's going to do some Hammer Pegs action. I imagine he's not going to pick up the Smith. I mean, Koi has often gone on record saying that he absolutely hates Mirrorless Smith, and if that's if that's where the item's going to be, that is going to be his last location. <laughs> It's a pretty rough check. <laughs> it really the is. Smith. And he's got a, got a full clearable uh, pod if he wants to do it in the dark. Um, if you grab the Smith, you can't you can't grab the Smith and do pod. You have to choose. There's definitely been plenty. Well, maybe a handful of races where I've brought the Smith all the way down to Hype Cave, and all I had to do was just trade him in for a monkey, and I would have found that thing I was looking for, but. <laughs> I can never make that decision. <laughs> All right, Kana Samaria out of pod. Where are we going At least to it next? It is Illus. something. The problem, though, is that's going to potentially keep Illus away from, you know, making that that yeah. Hyrule Castle play that they need to make. Because that is, you know, I could, could maybe. Because I mean, right now Illus is down to either doing Hyrule Castle. Doing a there's a useless quake. Yeah, uh, he's resetting that. That's a reset. <laughs> doing a hammerless ice, or uh, doing I'm a, a huh? I'm the yeah hammerless ice. Yep, definitely. Uh, or a, no. or a fire sourceless mire. Mire. Which Oof. the thing is, we're not gonna. We're definitely not gonna find the lamp in mire. That's impossible because of where the lamp was. I mean, we could find right. one there, but I yeah. mean, there it's. Possibly you can get through Meyer without a fire store, skipping those two chests on the left, but it is risk. Now, here's that shovel that we didn't see. Where was that at? Yeah, that was in Skull Wood, so Koi doesn't have this. So if uh, Illus managed to dig something out of here, uh, it'll be Vanish Illus. And it makes sense that Koi didn't do Skull Woods with the full clearable Thieves Town available. Mm -hmm. eh. but sadly, it's just 20 rupees. It's just 20 rupees. like we're going into eastern now you know there 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 could be something oh no well we haven't seen Sahan. yeah Sahan yet. unfortunately the um, bottle that was there is not going to be a bottle and we don't really care that <laughs> yeah, much because <laughs> so this is going to be nothing uh, looks like koi I mean, can check pyramid ledge and i wonder if he'll go to catfish before he goes to pod just trying to find a fire source just to make it better That's a good question. I don't know. I remember the, the first time I ever did Dark Turtles, uh, I went to Catfish immediately after, and there was my lamp. Of course. <laughs> and I think we're getting... Are we getting a nice play? Yes, we are getting a nice... Okay, well, no, he might be doing Zora first. Yeah, I think you do go do the Dor Zora stuff that you didn't do earlier first. Um, but then, you know, do you go into ice? Yeah. I, 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 I hope not. <laughs> And, and the, the thing is, like, skipping Uncle and all the front of Hyrule Castle this long, you gotta be thinking, like, oh, man, if, there's, if it's there and my opponent yeah. got it, because there's people that like to do the Uncle route right at the beginning of the race. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's really easy to get in your head, like, 
oh, if it's there, then the re then it's over. There's nothing I can do. There's no way I can come back from a double so I'll dip. Do, I'll, do the other, double I'll do the pod, bad check so and hope it's there. So I'll do everything else. I mean, we might even see desert before we see Hyrule Castle. Yeah, and of course, desert without a fire source means you can't finish it. Um, and we do need to finish it at some point. But that's yeah. a, like if, uh, you know, Illus. Oh, here we go. OK, all right. OK, this, this well. is good for him. Uh, Going to go do this stuff now. This will be good. He'll have the hammer. He won't have to worry about it. One of the things I was going to mention about doing uh, Ice Palace without the, the hammer that gets a little tricky is unless there's a small key in that very first check, uh, you're not guaranteed to be able to use Icebreaker to get all the way through. Now, you could steal a key from the conveyor room, but if you don't have a hammer to get out, that's kind of slow. I only would really do that necessarily in a in a cross key situation where it's just you find ice in a really bad spot, you know, and you just right. feel like you need to do it. But you got to check as much as you can. While yeah. You're there. Yep. Uh, or you just, you know, blindly do icebreaker, not even thinking about the small key and get bailed out. You know, yeah. And, and that does happen, um, in, especially in, you know, there's, uh, you know, there's two small keys in, in ice. So there's every possibility of sitting there in that in that second in one of those three chests that you're you're picking up. So Ellis going to grab their hammer, but Koi having basically having to avoid getting to avoid the double dip thieves town and pod um we'll continue this this lead now all it really needs to happen to switch this race around would be to put like fire rod or mirror in a, like pendant eastern or or you know upstairs pendant hair or you know someplace silly yeah. um where it, it turns into a, a pendant coin flip yeah, uh, the other interesting thing, I, I I would expect Koi to go ahead and do that fake powder first. Uh, Illus turns out couldn't do that because he doesn't have the hammer or the mirror to go, the hammer, go there. Yeah. <laughs> so, or, you know, didn't have the hammer. He will have it in just a second. Uh, so it made, more, it made sense for him to check that mushroom immediately to see if it was anything useful, reset it when it wasn't. Chat member asking why Illus specifically is doing escape. Well, I mean, there's a good chunk of items in here, and it's it's so much better than like a potentially awful pendant eastern dip or a hammerless ice palace dip. So you're trying to avoid. Yeah, his any... other choices were bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like this choice <laughs> is bad, one. but the other choices were worse. So yep, eastern no guarantee you can even get to three items. Um, well, I guess that's not true. We could, we could be, we can finish the dungeon. Yeah, I think but it's a pendant. You like don't want to <laughs> green pendant. Maybe, maybe it'd be a little bit more enticing. But then you gotta remember, like you know, it has a fire, it has a, a lamp fire rod lock in it, and you don't have those. So it's like, I, don't, I'm looking for a thing. I don't really want to be doing too many things out of logic here. As Illus is getting this heart piece out from of Dark Cross. <laughs> <laughs> but you well, know, now we, it's more about just well, I gotta clean this up because if it's yeah, here, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, that's, land that's, logic is just whatever most of the time. The, and, and the times you really want to do sequence breaks is when um, you're right there and having to come back would just be much, much worse. Right, where are we heading to now? I mean, we got some options. We could see Ice Palace next. That's a good place to put a fire rod when you have a bombos. Yeah. Yeah. Fire locking fire class would be classic. Mira likes to show up in Ice Palace. I mean, you've seen that enough times. But yeah, you've got you, you've got a full clearable Ice Palace. You've got you, your cane for icebreaker. You've got your hook shot. Uh, Koi doing a, a good job so far of getting these turtles. It looks like he got two, got four of them right away. Yeah, I'm using that ether medallion I was talking about. This is uh, not a very fun room, but gets oh, through it. Terrible. Nice job, Koi. And then he gets to do the easier thing, which is fighting a Helmasar with yeah. uh, <laughs> plenty of health. Right, what are we going to find in this ice palace? Perhaps find a meters. crystal. Hey, there is a there was a key right away, so ice cream yeah. not have been an issue. 
would have been a nice icebreaker until I'm just really glad that Ilse isn't no, adding I'm glad another he got that double hammer. dip <laughs> to this yeah. scene. Yeah, I mean, that, 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 is, been... that is the nature of late hammers. It's like you can yeah. very easily just get in your head that it has to be in in one of these hammerlock dungeons and, you know, more often than not, they are. But, um, uh, like Selma kill from Koi, second crystal in hand. Just bombs. But it is a crystal. Big key on Illus' side. I don't think he hit the switch, so finding that big key early is nice. Um... I'm one that in in not in go mode I always hit the switch, but in not go mode I tend not to. And every once in a while it can screw you because if you have like three items right away and then the big key is on ice tea, um, you mm -hmm. definitely lose time. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a gamble that doesn't really. I mean, I don't feel like it happens that often. Where it, it kind of. I think it's only happened to me once or twice, so it's it's fairly uncommon. But it it is annoying when it happens, and I think that's so far we've gotten two heart pieces. Nice ice pals. <laughs> Thanks, ice pals. Okay. Alan bombs. Don't forget those. Okay, but we can skip ice tea. So we, uh, this is this is. Act, I mean, it's not a good ice palace for items, but it's a good ice uh, ice palace for for layout. We can just go for it, straight to the boss now. Boy, Man, getting his can of Samaria. I mean, you got to be thinking like, okay, lamps. I feel like lamps probably going to be like in probably Eastern at this in point. In Eastern, yeah. I mean, we don't really have that many spots left that aren't flute locked. Yep. Um, now it could also be in desert from that yeah, book that we got. Yeah, could be in the front of desert. I guess I would go there before I would go eastern, just because. I mean, if you find it there, then you just finish desert. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, it's it's kind of painful having to go through the book entrance twice if you don't yeah. find the mirror. Yeah, to do desert. That, it's but, terrible. Um, I know that if you get both items, then you just don't do it until you have the mirror because you, you know you're getting the mirror for Swamp at some point. Mm -hmm. The worst case scenario would be item on... Uh, okay, well, there's two bad scenarios because it could be item on <laughs> on Landmo, but also we have the Pyramid Fairy <laughs> could have something. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, that's blocked I, I, behind I, a, a, a Trinex. Also, so yeah. It, it, I mean, unless I guess mirror is mirror, a Pyramid Fairy or something. That would have to be mirror. It would have to be. Not the greatest setup for taking out Cold Stare, no Fire Rod, only Bombos, but at least having a Master Sword will make things a little bit... Yeah, I don't mind these... Easier. I mean, it's slow, but I don't mind these Master Sword spins, especially... I mean, he's got the Hammer out, which does better damage than a, than a Slash, but... The nice thing about the spins is sometimes you can hit multiple puffs, and uh, sometimes you can hit mm -hmm. multiple puffs twice, so you can get a whole lot of damage done with just one Sword Spin. Yeah, and on Greemail, you do not want to take a, a hit from a Cold Stare and no. get oh my God. four hearts. <laughs> um, that's, that's too dangerous. And it looks like Koi's going to be heading straight into Ice Palace, going to do the same thing. Sense. And uh, let's see where we're off to next. Now, Illus, of course, needs to eventually go back to Pod and Thieves Town. Yep. Finish out those dungeons, but... <clears throat> yeah, I don't see him finishing pod anytime soon no because it's just one item it's the boss uh, there's really no reason to do pod but, okay maybe i'm wrong maybe he's just nope i'm, I'm wrong um you're just you're just straight wrong <laughs> I'm just straight i'm just straight out wrong he's gonna go do pod uh the reason i don't like this is e even just waiting for a fire rod is just gonna make this so much faster and so much easier and you're just talking about one item yeah uh, we I, know I, it's it's a nothing item mm -hmm. um he doesn't know that and so he's, he's counting there. on the item being being something good, but unfortunately, it's not. I mean, yeah, of course, you know, it's the, we're options right now are still relatively uh, Bad, rough. Yeah, really nice uh, pingator room for Koi with the double bomb. Yeah, we're but... really being throttled by this this fire source. I don't know. Going back for especially after we saw how obnoxious the turtle room was for Koi's side, like. It's a, it's, I would, I would definitely consider holding off on Helma, waiting for like a fire source to show up. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but that's also me as a commentator wanting new info. Like, <laughs> yeah, I want to see new stuff. <laughs> uh, so, Tracy, what, what do we have left? Well, we have Eastern, everybody's mm -hmm. favorite. Uh, we have 
some bits of mire that we can do uh, might be clearable. Definitely not clearable in logic. Uh, lamp will not show up there because uh, the the flute is behind the lamp. Um, we have... We could go into Turtle Rock and do probably nothing. <laughs> Fire Rod first chest, or you get the very rare T-Rock. <clears throat> Maw the keys key. lead you yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you know, you pick up your lamp in the big chest of TR. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Which um, can't happen, actually, in this seed, but we I've I seen it in other seeds before. But Don't think we've uh, gotten catfish yet? No, we haven't seen catfish. We also do have smith chain still, that good old mirrorless Oh, yeah, mirrorless smith. smith. So, that would be fitting for Koi, because <laughs> I guess he, he, he was in two of those mirrorless smith seeds during the, the qualifiers. And like I said, no, I know no, it's no, his no, least yeah. favorite. <laughs> I got... With the four that I did, the worst one was the pedestal seed, and which was bad for everybody. Like that was the first time I think I've ever finished was that the, a seed was that over the two, two hours. Hour seed? Yeah, <laughs> did you <laughs> was. the part time was like two hours or something? Uh huh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> but yeah, there were some real stinkers in the qualifiers. So, <laughs> and that's the thing. That's the thing is like sometimes you just gotta make. sure. You just got to get lucky and show up on the right day for the right race and get oh, like so the easiest seeds where it's like do everything except pen and dungeons and you're good and you're golden. Or, you know, skip hook shot for a third uh, at uh, hammer pegs after it's been there for three <laughs> seeds in a row and then hover molder yeah. too. Um, ugh, Mirrorless Smith. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, we're at. We're at a point where we can really start knocking it. I mean, we, we, we have these dungeons we can dip, but like that, those late fire sources are really holding us back. I, I could see a desert dip next mm -hmm. from either of these runners. Um, now, Illus might go back and do the finish up Thieves Town. We'll see if that comes up. We also know another place that we know that there is nothing, but he does not know that there is nothing. Yeah, we could also see the, the, the fake powder. I definitely expect to see the fake powder. I uh, don't want to have to worry about Aga. All right, Illus had a relatively slow but efficient, or, a, you know, successful cold stare fight. Koi, I think, does have um, a red potion. Was it Koi that got a red potion on a waterfall fairy? One of them did. One of them did. Ooh, that's yeah, a it was Koi. Because, a red okay. yeah, it, it was absolutely Koi. Because I remember, you know, we were talking about the blue cane fight. Mm hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, not wanting to spend that red potion right away, getting hit by both a cold stare and then an icicle, bringing Koi down to three hearts. Ooh, I love these. I love seeing the hammer play. You're doing a nice job with it. Yeah, with the extended hitbox helping the sword out. Wow, there we that was go. really that was actually really nice. Well done. A lot of good, a lot of good execution from both these players, which you know. Is expected. These players have been around for quite a while. They're also both the one and two seeds. And, you know, looking at some of those results for this tournament so far, like, I feel like seeding to a degree doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't really mean that much. Yeah. I mean, like, you definitely I, have... I, I think the difference between a one and a two seed or even a one and a three seed is not that far. No, it really isn't. Um, and I mean, we've seen some four seeds clutching out some victories as well already. So. Okay, this, I, gonna I feel, do this I feel like this tourney is going to be, uh, just, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be wacky. It's going to be, I, I, I honestly can't even predict who's going to be making it into the next round yet. Just, I mean, it's still very <laughs> early, of course. So. We re are right, we well. resetting, Koi? Koi, we're not resetting? Okay. Not resetting. Mm, interesting. I yeah that I mean, that really surprises me, especially since in, in Koi's case he could have done it right away. He could have just done the fake powder. He didn't have to, you know. Yeah, didn't have to reset. Could have fake powdered then turned that mushroom in. He oh you know what I don't think he's seen this yet, so he might reset after seeing this is Bombos. Or not. <laughs> well, I mean, he bought a potion, so I don't know. Yeah, there's that. I have to go do that again. Could reset after this is nothing. Or no? Okay. Well, that uh, powder is it now? That that uh that powder is now very interesting. Um, yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> if I, I got to say, if you lose a race because you don't fake powder, then, you know, you just got to throw up your hands like, all right, game. Because <laughs> how often is that going to actually happen? Like, how often do we actually see a fake powder turn into something? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's extremely rare. It's absolutely rare. Um, but it can happen. Okay. Oh, yeah. Boy, are we doing Mirrorless Smith? No, are we doing we're doing Skullwoods. Okay. Well, we know this is a shovel, which is nothing. Mm -hmm. So this is good for Illus. It's gonna give some time back to Illus. Yeah. But yeah, right now it's really looking like oh, that, you know, Meyer Dive, Desert Dive. We we need to get in these pendant dungeons or these uncomplete potentially uncompletable dungeons. I mean as And there's still Hera sitting up there. Oh gosh. We haven't this really is... done much in. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we saw, I think, one item, and that was it. I I almost want to say that maybe... Yeah, I don't remember if Koi picked up a small key or a big key from the second chest. Yeah, I, d I didn't see which one he picked up, because he he was gone before... When I, I was watching Illus while he was in there, and by the time I looked over, he was done, so... <laughs> Do players in a pendant Hera... Um, Do they usually... <laughs> Not like if they get a big key, are they not going to hair a pot for a pendant Hera for the second if, item? If my intention is to do, I mean, especially if it's not even green pendant, uh, I'd be hesitant to hair a pot, especially if I my first, ch you know, if it was like a map compass type thing. Mm -hmm. Um, if my intention I mean, is to get the items out of there, you're just automatically saying, well, I'm just going to skip it if it's there. And uh, you know, going back in for the big chest after you've heropotted is just painful. I'm being told that Koi grabbed the three bombs and then bailed, so we don't even... Didn't even I don't, okay, so we, okay, didn't so you didn't even, even know. I, I mean, that makes a certain amount of sense, because once oh, yeah. you if, if you're not planning on beating the dungeon regardless... You've got the item. You know the other spot is a key. You know, you know. At that point, maybe you don't care which key. And if it's a small key, in, in his case, it would be a sequence break to to continue on because he doesn't have a fire source. And it looks like Illus grabbing the smith. So we are going to get this check in. It's it's not too bad when you have the flute, obviously. Yeah, it's it's I mean, the entire chain that, and he's going to do the fake powder anyway. So oh. might as well combine this in. Yeah, I think this is really good. Yeah, just like that, we're tied up on crystals. So, like, you know... This could easily turn around real quick if Illus sure is the first to find... The next thing. The next thing. Talking about Mir. Talking about Fire Rod. Talking about 100 not bucks. Yeah, not, ta <laughs> no, like not talking about 100 bucks. <laughs> uh, this looks like Koi's headed over to Catfish. I mean, what are, what are what are the big things that Koi did that Illus didn't do that helped Illus catch up so much? Mm. All right, just a heart piece. So Koi getting bailed out by spending that mushroom on a quake. Yeah, as long as he doesn't gamble on going and picking up the powder, which I can't imagine you would do anything but last location that at this point. <laughs> I mean, and, and you're not going to do it right now anyway, because you only have a fire rod, let alone the lamp, to put it in logic. What do we got? Catfish has... 10 Absolutely eight. nothing. All right. I am up getting a Hera play from Illus. Yeah, it looks it like be it. Hera, he also hasn't checked Ether tab. Um, he can also do Spike Cave. And what is Koi going to choose to do? He's gonna check, check that, that shovel because I went out of my way all the way through Skull Woods and all I got was a stinking shovel. A stinking it shovel. Better, it better give me something, except it won't. <laughs> so, which Light Roll dungeon is going to have our progression? Because we've <laughs> barely touched any of them. Yeah, I mean, For I, good would, reason. I, would do, I would do Desert because at the very least you need to get the stuff out of the front anyway. I think that's what Koi's doing. Um,. Koi hadn't seen the ledge yet. Uh, Illus has seen that ledge. And another heart container. We got a second row of hearts. Wow! Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, Koi's it's interesting seen that, because... But he doesn't, like, yeah, Koi saw that, but yeah. Okay, so here we go. 
there is a possibility that you could beat Meyer right now if both fire locked things are like map compass or yeah. map and second item. But one of these two dungeons, I mean, neither of these dungeons have to have a progression. But uh, it's still be Eastern. <laughs> it's still, still be Eastern. Eastern. Okay, and it That's was a small not a good key. Start. So Hera is fire rod or fire source locked. Yeah, and Ilse is gonna go for it. I mean, it is with the item having, you know, with the bombs being the first item. Um, it is a, only a thirty-three percent chance that the item, the items in the big chest. So, not terrible odds. And now it's fifty-fifty. Yeah, because that always happens. It's always, I swear, it's never that chest <laughs> <laughs> when you do this hero pot ever. It's always the you have to sweat it out to see what's on Moldorm. <laughs> We did see the first item here in desert, so we might see the second one over here. Yeah, I want to say it was a piece of heart. Because uh -huh. pieces of heart are everywhere. <laughs> is this where our progression lies? It yes. is, and I uh, might as well check the other location. Or not. And no, wait, did he get two items already? He's, has he got two items already? He got two items, yeah. Okay, then, you know, there's no reason to check the other chest. And the other item in Hera is in the big chest, so... That's unfortunate for Illus. And yeah, you go straight to Swamp House. The problem now, oh, yeah, though, absolutely. 55 minutes in, you get the mirror. You're like, oh, great. Now I have all these isolated mirror I know, right? to think about, too. <laughs> so you're just hoping Fire Rod is in uh, Swamp Palace and you don't have to think about it anymore. Yeah, I mean, if he, if Fire Rod is here, I mean, that's that's go mode, isn't it? I, I mean, are we, yeah, I don't, that's, yeah that's everything. Um, it's stuck to do Master Sword Silverless without a lamp. Good luck. <laughs> not not a fight. Uh, um, go please. Yeah, if you want to do that, Koi or Illus, please please buy a bottle. Um, buy a whole bottle. Buy at least. Buy at least. Koi somehow potion. has two. <laughs> yeah, I think he picked. Must have picked up the green uh, five, and it was marked. But yeah, he's he's just got the one. Because in hard mode, we only get one. Um, but yeah, if you're uh, if you're gonna do fire rod, uh, silverless master sword. Ganon, uh, you basically can't miss a spin, yeah, because you have eight fire rod shots, uh, and you need to get three, get triples each time. Um, you can get a, you can get a free spin or two at the beginning uh, to give you a little bit of wiggle room, and that's it. So it's, I mean, just, it's just not a free fight. It's, yeah, play perfect, and you're fine. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's not hard. Yeah, it looks like Ellis is going into Misery Mire, so hopefully for their sake and for the sake of keeping a close race. Hopefully, Meyer Hopefully either there's a fire source here. The has areas. the goods or is still beatable. So just no big key on the left. I mean, at this point, even if it's uh, a lamp to beat it, that would help. Um, but yeah, I would. Yeah, a fire rod here would be would be would be good for him. Though then that would send him. I could send him to Turtle Rock. To desert. <laughs> so yeah, well, that no, could a send fire him rod would send him to desert to beat it. I, I would probably yes, go to yes, desert. Yes, yes, you're right. Absolutely, you're right. You are absolutely right. You you could then, you know, do desert the long way. Yeah. And right now, the only thing that could be in here that we would even care about would be, like, a sword or the fire right. rod. All right, yeah, lamp can't... Well, let's remind ourselves, a uh, lamp cannot be in here because the flute was on the mountain, so our mm -hmm. logical mountain axis was the lamp. So lamp is either purple chest, eastern, or probably here in swamp, maybe. Yeah, right. could be here. Or, so, yeah, because that, yeah, that that desert dip the koi did perfectly in logic. Uh huh. And everything else to get in here was not up on the mountain. The only thing we got up on the mountain was what? Flute, nice rod. Flute, was it? flute, nice rod. Yeah. Yeah, and if we have an eastern lamp, we're probably not seeing that. Yep. Not, not likely. If these players like the, are like the me, only... they will skip Pendant Eastern forever. The the only way we're seeing a lamp in Eastern is if the fire rod is, is fire locked. That's it. It's the only way. Oh, like, you talking like... Like on land mode or, or, or something? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, I guess it could be here at Big Chest. That would be worst case scenario. I was thinking more okay, like yeah, on yeah. land mode. Or <laughs> the land mode or the uh, the uh, right side. Sorry, left side here. And, oh, oh, there's, or, or, a yeah, there's a lamp. There it is. Okay. Uh, they, so the I don't mystery think... is solved. So now we're Eastern only... is very likely dead or has a fire rod. Yeah. The only way we're seeing Eastern now is if it has a fire rod and it'll probably be last locationed. 
Uh, although Koi, having already seen one item out of Hera, doesn't exactly have the incentive to go there. I would, I would accept mm -hmm. Koi, expect that if it came to it, Koi would do Eastern before, before Hera. And I miss it over on Illus' side, but saving Quinn and Adamire means yeah, I means would assume that we're fire locked. Yep. Now I'm gonna assume that he, he was not able to get the big key. So yeah, this is just a case of just losing that that coin play up a couple times for Illus, you know, picking Hera and picking Meyer over Desert. It happens. You know, and part of that is just Koi having had the the hammer when he was up at the mountain earlier. Uh, meant that he was able to go into Hera the first time and get an item out of there, which makes going back there a lot less enticing. Mm -hmm. It's so weird how the seed has played out with fire sources being such a interesting factor in decision making. Uh, I, right, how many? Now, if, now if, if you're Koi, do you go back in? It's Big Key and Matt. There's one item then. I, I know I don't go back in. <laughs> For one item? <laughs> nah. Especially if, if I don't have the Big Key, because it's like, okay, so you have to go all the way to the left side, and maybe all you get is the Big Key, and you have to go then back to the the big chest. Um, yeah, and Koi agrees. I think we are going to get a Bombos tablet check first on our way back to... Well, no, he just flew off of there and do Meyer and Finish Desert all at the same time. Yeah, and just say, heck no to K45, just assume it's junk like the Smith Chain or something. Yeah, now that he has Mirror, he could just kind of do all that stuff together if he wants to later. But I think Ooh, you do all this first. Silver wow. Arrows, that just made life a lot nicer. Now, now we don't have to have the perfect Ganon fight. <laughs> Is, you know, silvers. Of course, I don't know uh, if you're like me, and I know I've seen Koi do this as well. Uh, you, you do the the Master Sword Ganon fight with silvers, and you just can't time the spins right because you're used to timing them for uh, silverless hits. <laughs> oh yeah, the 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 hu the the spin on, on Ganon for Phase Four to stun him, <laughs> yeah. and then and then trying to get a uh, a silver in or two. It could be kind of, it could be kind of treacherous. Okay, and Tony we're not Bond. orphaning. We're going to orphan Graveyard Ledge for a while, I do expect, but. Yeah, that's an easy one to orphan. Um, you know, we, we do still have that potential fi fire rod in the front of TR. Like, this seed just it, kind of keeps giving. A, yeah, that is a thing. I mean, that's one of those things, I, I like to go into Turtle Rock for that check if I'm already there with all yeah. the stuff. But if not, I, I don't like to go back there just to see if there's a fire rod in that first chest. I mean, just think, if you'd never sequence broke the mountain, like... You yeah. Know, you, you got your... You got your cane, you got your... I mean, yeah, if you never sequence broke the mountain, you, you could have actually... Uh, been able to enter T Rock the first time you were up there. Yeah, that's true. If you met, you know, if you went to Pod first and got your cane and did all that funny stuff, but you know, not sequence breaking the entire Death Mountain. It's so when many. You have items. some, yeah. When you have a uh, you know early Dark World access and some pendant dungeons to dip. The tough call. Now, I I did all I remember seeing on Illus' side was a compass in the the spike room here in Meyer, so. Yep. So I'll have to watch and see what we get here. Um... But also, was I, I should mention, we talked about the Ganon fight. The lamp also, uh, a nice uh, relief factor for the Ganon fight, too. Mm -hmm, no longer, yeah. you know, even if we hadn't found, even if Koi doesn't find the silvers at Bombos in, it's possible Ilsh doesn't do Bombos and doesn't get those silvers. Uh, I still no longer have to be perfect. Yeah, I mean, it's nice getting both Lamp and Silvers right away, because now, you know, you don't even have to really... Before, it's like, oh gosh, okay, only Fire Rod, I have to get the Torch Glitch, I have to be perfect with that. Yep, and, yep. Um, but now it's like, yeah, I don't need the Torch Glitch, Silvers, it's whatever. Yep. I mean, of course, I think with Master Sword, I like to get the Torch Glitch probably with safer. Master Sword, but it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those things where, like, you know, if you don't get it... You're... I don't try real hard uh, with Silvers to get a Torch Glitch, especially if I have a Tempered or more, but...
Yeah, I could see Illa skipping left side as well. I mean, yeah, go minus skipping one. You don't one you don't item do left yeah. side first. No, I, I I am one to always say that yes, it is. If you're gonna clear, full clear the dungeon, it is a little bit faster to do left side first with the diver down strats and such. Actually, it was even a little bit faster before diver down because there were some ways you could do, do the keys uh, just to make it a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. But it's still slow. <laughs> it's still it's still time really slow. <laughs> you don't want to spend. And okay, you there's know, the big key. Yeah, that that makes sense. Because Illus would have finished this dungeon if the big key was accessible. Right. So have we seen uh, any have items we seen in the item? yet? I'm not sure that we have. We saw a compass. Do we see map? We haven't seen map yet. So, I mean, unless map is over a cutscene chest and we're about to grab item out of big chest and uh, off of the boss. And with that big key location, that last there could be a small key on uh, on the cutscene chest uh, because we did get a big key. It doesn't guarantee a small key there, but it means that it, it just opens up the possibility. Oh, there's an item. <laughs> it's not a piece of heart, at least. <laughs> For once. Yeah, so yeah it's okay, either, think, either Vidi Koi, or yeah, he's just cutscene skip at this it. point. And if you get a map off of Vidi, I mean, it's another situation of like... I have another slow left side check here yeah. in Meyer. Do I go back in for one or? Uh, I'll, I'll try to watch his uh, watch next time. Koi menus. Koi being one of uh, only two players that I know of that uh, don't use quick swap. Ironically, the other player, Azder, is in <laughs> Koi's group. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to the no quick swap matchup next week when they play each other. <laughs> that is that's quite a that's quite a nasty group. Ellis, Koi, <laughs> Azder. Yeah, it really is. Poor chat for war man. <laughs> it's probably thinking what did I get myself into. <laughs> uh, it's just it's good experience. It sure and is. And you never know. It's it's rando, you know? It's rando. Rando does rando it's definitely... things. Definitely. <laughs> I I feel like especially with the flag set for this tournament or the flag sets for this tournament, I feel like mm -hmm. there's gonna be a lot more um uh, I don't even really want to call them upsets because seeding in this tournament is kind of yeah. whatever. Um but I feel like there's a lot more opportunity for top 96, top something, having a chance of winning. Um, just with the nature of some of these modes, like inverted or with the key sanity stuff, it's just, I don't know. It's different, okay, Tracy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Don't ask me to explain. Uh, right, well, I know the second item is on video. Yeah, I did see it was the compass missing, uh, it, but with the small key available on cutscene, it really doesn't matter which thing is missing. <laughs> is this a map or an item? It's, it's the a, item! Yay! It's a we, piece. Don't, we, we, we managed to skip cutscene. <laughs> okay. So, we got both items at a desert, but we'll go ahead and beat it. We still have purple chest, grave ledge, we got and... so many bad places. We still have Eastern. We still have... Okay, still have right Eastern. now Koi is going into Desert, so we're going to do that first. Second item, Hera, which requires a Hera basement. So, Koi? Uh, not going to do uh, Desert right now? Okay. I hope he remembers that he has to do Desert. <laughs> oops. Where are we going? Oh, maybe this is just Spike Cave? I mean, from that location, it might actually be faster to flute and go back. I have no idea. I've never timed any of that stuff. I usually just walk out and uh, mirror. Or I do a Koi did and I completely forget that Desert is a thing I still need to do. I, I mean, I, to be fair, I don't know if Koi actually forgot that. I should not I should not assume that. <laughs> um, oh, he never did a Spectacle Rock. Wow. <laughs> well, the bad news for Koi is if Fire Rod does show up in like Hera or TR. I mean, that's just an extra. Boy, you read this earlier. It's a cart container. Hmm. Oh, well. I mean, not the worst thing to get. <laughs> uh, maybe he's going to go ahead and do Hera right now. I mean, he will be able to get both items if he chooses to not Hera pot. What a. <laughs> 
Okay, what's, what, are we what an interesting series of events. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing is like if if Fyra does end up being up here either in Hera or in T Rock, then you know that's an extra mountain climb that Koi added for uh for reasons. For nothing, yeah. So. Uh, if if fire rod's just sitting there on Lanmo, then uh, else I expect we'll do. I think desert, we got both items air, air, out of yeah. or out of. Oh no, you're right. We did. Desert, we did. Didn't we? Yeah, because Koi yeah. didn't check the second chest on the right side. You're you're right. <clears throat> I think I still would have gone and finished desert right there oh, anyway. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> if you find <laughs> you fire rod up it. here, well, I think it was just a mistake. You've got silvers to do a fight really quick. And, you know, I, I, he could have also done the thing that I've done many times, which is flew away and then, oh, wait, I want to do desert. And by then, you've mm -hmm. already made your, your choice. And so you're already late. playing three steps ahead of yourself. I'm really interested yeah. to see what's in this big chest. Well, there's really, I mean, aside from swords and fire rod, is, I mean, I guess it could be cape, but cape's useless. Well, Koi's not going to have to finish the dungeon because he's going to get the second item in the big chest and mm. he knows, I mean, we know Ped's dead because the fire rod can't be there because Skull Yeah, because of Skull Woods, so. Yeah, that's going to work out. So, this will be the first time we've seen this item, this location. Yeah, the other item was in the first little basement room it was three bombs and just just a heart just piece. piece of heart so another another one of those dang pieces of heart <laughs> all right if fire rod was an eastern the entire time then the seeds is awful <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay i think we're gonna see spike cave did illus do this yeah illus did this okay so we know this is nothing But, you know, despite all of that, I mean, Illus is about to take a crystal lead. Yeah. And if, uh, if Koi had intended to do Turtle Rock, this is not the way to do it. He's gonna, you're gonna save and quit out of here and have those choices all again. I mean, this is still very much anyone's game. Oh, Absolutely. yeah, I mean, really, Which who is... finds that fire rod, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it and who gets there first? I think Koi is... Me I'm trying to think what each one has done. I don't think Koi hasn't turned in the Smith, and he hasn't no. done, and he can't do the fake pattern. But um, Ellis hasn't done like catfish or something. Right. So there's definitely things that each has done, the other hasn't. But this is looking like that Smith chain then. Yeah, you could do yeah we, mirrored Smiths. <laughs> yeah, much easier, much faster, much nicer. Uh, we're not. gonna get a graveyard oh. ledge first. Okay. You never know. You just you just never know what's gonna which way they're gonna turn. They're gonna turn north. They're gonna turn south. Yeah. And Illus hasn't even done a Gina yet, which is you know if if <laughs> if I'm checking a Gina of one eleven in, I'm probably not really hoping it's actually here because I'm kind of assuming my opponent maybe did this a long time yeah. ago. Yeah. Just be like, can this just be like a sword or something? But it's just three hundred bucks. Man, is this really going to turn into a who dies pennant eastern first kind of seed? Oh, that sounds like a terrible thing. No, nope. it's a who gets to graveyard lies first. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> that is that's nasty. So that is really and bad. That's the thing is like that was all, that whole chain was locked behind going to Zora, getting book, going to desert, getting yep. mirror. Yep. Uh, but with that. Koi gonna go back to desert. Okay, I'm really but, uh, glad that is... he, he knows he has to do desert. Mm. Um, if he forgot, it was a momentary forget. It was not a uh, it was not a complete forget because nothing worse than walking in front of GT and not having those crystals show up. Yeah, <laughs> and like, I, we've oh, all been no. there. Yeah. <laughs> like, which which one did I not do? <laughs> yeah, the problem right now is that graveyard ledge is. It's just really out of the way, so... Yeah, he might be making his way to it. Um, you might see a, a drag the purple chest to Graveyard Ledge, mm. which I'm not a huge fan of, but, you know, uh, there's just so many ways to lose the, the purple chest, but that won't matter, because he'll just get his fire on. 
Did Illus ever check the pyramid? Like the I don't pyramid think item? so. Yeah, I don't think so. Because that would have been, you know, an opportunity to... I mean, of course, K45, I feel like, is a good one to check. And, you, you know, you're you're mentally wanting to... I mean, usually you're mentally wanting to, like, put stuff that you found later in the seed as holding your next progression item. Yep. So, like, Mirror as late as it was. Though I guess technically Mirror wasn't supposed to be that late. It was okay. only behind uh, that book. But, um... I mean, you could have gone up to Pyramid and then hookshot across to Graveyard Lodge. Right. And then go this, to Catfish. But yeah, this is this is going to get out. really close. This is, is going to get his, his Fire Rod right here. And Koi needs to, is just finishing up Desert right now. So we're going to hit Turtle Rock at a very close to the same time. Mm -hmm. Koi, I think, is going to have a slight lead going in. Still a race. Do you just go ahead and turn in Purple Chest real quick once you're done here? What if it has a sword? No, I, I, I leave it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's right there. Okay, let, let me put it a different way. I would check it because I hate Master Sword that much, but I, as if I were a good player, I would keep it. <laughs> uh, if I'm one of these two players and I'm, I'm fine on Master Sword, yeah, I'm leaving it. <laughs> I mean, you just gotta pick it up, flute to whatever. Bill says, no, I don't want you. Go away, purple chest. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you forever. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> there's still another sword in the pool, unless both swords are in Easter. It's fine. Yeah, there, there's yeah two swords in the pool. We'll we'll see. Um, I mean, this chances is, this... are there's a really good chance they run into one in either Shuttle Rock or GT, or mm. or it could be an or we get an early big key and it's deep in GT. So it's crazy that despite all the extra stuff that like well the extra dungeon dives that Illus did you know the double dip pod yeah the yep. double dip thieves the 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 hera <laughs> dip the yep. double dip mire <laughs> uh this is a close race and yeah and Illus also like did the start of the smith chain as well Oh, it's stinking fairy, stinking dead rock. <laughs> I would, you know, I would just go back into the the cave and like, yeah, you know, there, there is a if you, a time. if you boomerang or hook shot the top left corner, you're guaranteed to get the fairy on the bonk, which is something I learned from Koi recently. Um, otherwise, it just flies away, just doesn't want to get yep, caught. Yeah, it's just gone. <laughs> Wow, Koi is going to be entering Turtle Rock as Illus is uh, doing his bombos. What a good race. Oh, yeah. What a good race. It's good to see these uh, end up being close. And, you know, it could still very much come, come down to uh, GT route difference. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what Illus does for his GT route, but Koi has been been employing what he likes to call Rando Rush a lot. So, big keys mm -hmm. in Hope Room, uh, probably a huge advantage for Illus. Um, Rando Rush is a good one. And yeah, I mean, I, I feel like a lot of times players will just kind of be like, okay, this is the this is the thing I do in GT, and I'm just always going to do it because I know that the second. I don't do what I always do. It's gonna be there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I and uh, I, I'm more of the mind of you know. There's no one good way to do it. Um, it's it's literally a one out of twenty two. Could be anything. There's there's, there's very little you can read. Uh, but it's never decisions. right sides. So yeah. So I, I I tend to do the do the <laughs> hope hope route just because I hate mm -hmm. going right side. <laughs> I just hate it. Um, Unless there's like something like, like if I get a cane of Samaria on path and I don't need anything else, need it for anything else, you get a pendant, uh, Meyer, and a pender, pendant, pendant um, turtle pender. rock that you never enter. I, I might oh. take that as a sign that that cane showed up for a reason, that type of thing. But mm -hmm. or you know, you could same thing with like fire rod. Like yeah, pendant tr, pendant skull, but this yep. fire rod's got to mean something, right? Yep. Oh, hi, Tempered hey. Sword. Okay, so we are going to be uh, well well uh, equipped for the Ganon fight. That is not a Tempered Sword anyone's ever going to miss. Well, I'm bummed. I wanted to see some Samaria strats. <laughs> I love me some Samaria strats on Ganon, but... Now the only thing really that's going to slow us down is just, you know, that green mail. Just got to try to not get hit. Yeah, the, the truest part of the hard mode. Um, 
a lot of things in hard mode that I don't think are really that hard, but you know, that, that green mail is is a thing. And despite after all that, I mean we're we're neck and neck uh in heart containers, so <laughs> that little blind <laughs> adorable. <laughs> Yeah, I often frog. say about the oh, it is a frog. That's what that's what I often say about the the, the alternate sprites. What I what I love the most about the alternate sprites is not even so much the actual sprite itself. It's it's the details, of, mm -hmm. like what the bunny sprite is, what the uh, what they look like when they pull, push, whatever. Yesterday we saw a Kefka that looked like he was riding an Ultros, <laughs> <laughs> or the swimming animation. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, shout outs to anybody that has ever worked on sprites for this game. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Looks like Ellis is... is taking a safer, you know, I... not gonna gamble on the on the small key. Yeah, and it's a... gonna lose on that one, so. Yeah, uh, it's a yeah, not e not just gonna lose, but like you didn't even have to you don't even have to do laser bridge. Um, yeah, I Early on, when I first started playing, I would often do what Illus was doing. Same. Um, but then it just got to the point where you just realize that everybody is going to get screwed everybody over. Everybody does by, it, yeah. <laughs> everybody is, is going to do it, and they're all everybody's going to get screwed over. And on the, the less than 5% chance that it that it doesn't screw you over and it screws everybody else over, it's just not worth. I mean, Unless I'm still, still looking talking. for a safety. If I want, you know, if right. I'm still on Master Sword, I might do, I, I might do what Illus did, but... Um, and I mean, we're still talking like a room and a half, two rooms apart. Yeah. So, still, still very close. Still Ilus, up to GT. Yeah, Illus knowing. <laughs> I mean, in, in some sense, this could be serious, but Illus knowing that he's got the quick swap advantage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where Illus got all this time saved from. Okay, I got it now. A little safe. Don't take too many hits from old Trinex, though. Plenty of health, you could definitely take a hit or two and be fine. Didn't quite get the double spin, but this won't take very long. Oh, getting some backdoor strats oh, on Illus' side, so. Or about two thirds a little, of a Trinex. A <laughs> little bit faster phase one Trinex. It's crazy. At one point, we were we were lampless, silverless, master sword, Ganon, yep. and now we have everything. And we and, have yeah. everything. Uh, it's really, really nothing we can even. I mean, I guess you know you could get a cape, and that's nice. Um, that's the only safety we haven't seen. Uh, we're not getting powder. Powder's sitting there uh, oh. on the lumberjack. <laughs> we're never getting that. Who knows, we could see a top of GT fake powder from Illus. <laughs> I've seen it. I've, it, seen it's, it I, I've done it. It's it's terrible. <laughs> it's great. That full health is so nice. No, I mean, it's terrible to have to do it. <laughs> eh. I mean, if... Also, I see numbers in chats. <laughs> yeah, I think chat wants Willard, is trying, Willard, trying to figure what, what out where... I was trying to figure out where the big key is. Woo! Except for... Somebody that posts a five-digit number, that's, that's probably not going to be right. <laughs> probably if not. If I had to guess. <laughs> All right, so not, not on one. the torch. Okay, this is where uh, it could get interesting. I, again, don't know what Illus' routing style is. I mean, first person to find the big key, I'm probably going to win this race. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a reasonable assumption. Yeah, Illus is going to do Hope Room. Which... First person to the Triforce Room is probably going to win this race. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> There's a small key. Oh, There's the big key. Room. Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> if, if this is Rando Rush, then this is Rando Rush. He's, he's gonna keep going. It was, wow. does need to go grab a small key, and he'll get the one in the pot in the next room. Koi having Koi that did, lead, just did like... not have enough of a lead to be able to to uh, guard against mm -hmm. that that hope from mm -hmm. big key. Isn't GT exciting? Well, it's less exciting. Great? <laughs> I mean, it's, this is by no means over. Illa still needs to actually execute, and uh, you know, the, the Ganon fight is 
more free than it was, but we still have green mail, so things can happen. But, um, sadly, it may be that the difference ends up being this, this GT routing. Now, it could be worse for Koi. He's not going all the way to Armos. Yeah, it's... That's unfortunate, but that's, uh, that's random for you. That's GT. I mean, it could just as easily have been in random room, and maybe Illus gets a small mm -hmm. key instead of a big key and goes all the way to Compass Room, and we, we have the other well, scenario. That's why, like, for the sake of mentality, when it comes to, like, making a decision that doesn't pay off, instead of blaming yourself for making the decision that turns out to be wrong, you blame the game for not putting the thing that you wanted. There in the you right go. <laughs> like, hey, there's why our you just... sword. <laughs> Why don't you just put the big key in Randa room or Stalfos room? Now, that that if if the other sword hadn't been on path for both of them, that could have been interesting. Uh, with that that sword being there in Randa room, that yeah, that uh, would have been a decider for sure. Yeah, because you know that's a pretty big tempered versus master sword for Ganon. Even with silvers, uh, is still you know quite a bit quite a bit difference. Enough when when a race is this close, enough. Yeah, it could make yeah. a difference. But uh, Illus with a pretty large lead now, all because of a single decision in GT. Well, no, it, you know, I mean, you can yeah, literally yeah. sit here and be like, yeah, it's because of GT, things. but, uh, you know, you, you can't just ignore that the entire, everything that happened in this race and just focus on the one thing that is inevitably going to decide it. Um, but it's not over yet. There's still hope. There's still a chance. But... The only way there's a chance is if a player messes it up, and you don't really want to see. Yeah, that. I, I, it's, I it's hate, never a good thing. Yeah, I hate be situations where that is where that is the the thing that has to happen for the mm -hmm. lead to change. I mean, we can't all have like Z1 Rando style hunting for <laughs> you know G. You get to GT and it's like a door Rando, and all of a sudden, like you have to find both Ganon and Zelda in here, and, and maybe Silver Arrows as well, and maybe Silvers, yeah. <laughs> can all have that level of randomness. I, you know, if I can be honest, though, I am a little bummed that it's going to turn in, that it turned into a GT routing difference that yeah. is playing a significant factor. M might have been more interesting if it had been, you know, like Ice Armos would have been, you know, if it had been behind Ice Armos with the Rossies mm -hmm. who were taking, that could have been really interesting. Uh, just because they both, I mean, depending on whether Illus would have, you know, if it had been, like, say, small key, in Hope Room, and if Illus is the type to, to follow that small key to Hope Room, as is a, a very common uh, GT big key strat, uh, then they're probably hitting Ice Armos around the same time, and then that, yeah. then it becomes really, really interesting. That's a quick Moldarn 2, gonna hookshot across, and we gotta go fight. We don't care. We don't care what that item is. <laughs> it can't be anything that we can actually utilize, aside from, like... <laughs> Cape is literally the only thing left, and if you're if you're relying on Cape here, um, probably not not the best thing. <laughs> cape is nice. It's like a nice get out of jail free. Like I yeah. I've been utilizing Cape a lot for my Moldrum fights, just because. Mm, that's a, it just, yeah. There you go. It just eliminates all possibility of messing up. Because <laughs> sometimes, like especially in Moldrum too, you'll like do that immediate dash across where you dash yep. through Moldrum, and. You know, so many times Ooh. where the game's just like, no, no, you're you're gonna get hit somehow and fall through. Nice triple to finish off Agatu there from Illus. Yeah, I mean at this rate we're gonna get that sub ninety, which is always nice. It's gonna be close. Koi about to make their way into the Moldern two room, grabbing that full magic. We did also see on Illus's side the fake powder at the top of GT. So. Oh, did we? I missed that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Koi without that option since he actually turned in the mushroom. Perhaps the 10 arrows is like, yeah, the top. Yeah, Koi's like me. He just can't stop himself from opening that <laughs> chest. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Oh, I love the dash strats. That's my favorite part about Temper Ganon is just the dash strats are... Mm, yeah. Or even Gold Sword Ganon. Yeah, Illus in the driver's seat, heading into uh, the final phase of Ganon. Uh, 
I believe this is the first race of their group. It, it is. Um, yeah, oh, you're going to get a whole lot of Coils and Azure at 2 o'clock on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, because I believe uh, the three of them are doing all their races at the, that time. Um, Dapper War Man, I don't believe, has scheduled anything with them yet. But, uh, Koi and Azure are both good friends of mine, and Ilse, you know, just a really great runner. I, you know, it's just easy to, to follow, for me to follow a group like that. And, mm hmm for sure. That's gonna do it. That's a dead Ganon. Get your GGs in chat. It was gonna take game one. Yeah. Uh, you know, every player plays each other twice in this group stage. Yeah, so these and, guys are gonna uh, rematch tomorrow at the same time. Um, it was finishing with an official race time of 129.03. We'll let Koi do his Ganon fight, and then hopefully we can get some... Uh, one or both of them in for some post-game chat. It's, man, it's so crazy that all that turned into, uh, you know, the fire rod at Graveyard Ledge. Like, what a what a way to seal this seed away. I wanted it to be in, in TR, because that would be the most fun. That that would have been fun. <laughs> but it's, it's so crazy to look at the seed and be like, you know, you make one or two different decisions how different the seed plays out entirely. You know, maybe you follow that book into desert immediately. And like, just these tiny things. Of course, you know, I'm thinking about like all the things that's going to lure you into that god route that people always speak of. Yeah, I, I've but, never uh, found a god route. <laughs> doesn't exist. Never heard of it. Doesn't, doesn't Not exist. Real. No, that's it right. can't hurt you <laughs> if it doesn't exist. That's right. Four singles gonna take down the big. We're gonna wrap this heat up just a little over a minute behind, but still a really good time. One thirty twenty nine, in fact. For a relatively cheeky seed. GG's. And we welcome in Illis. GG's. GG. And also Koi. GG's Koi. The hammer ruined me. The hammer ruined you? Yeah, the hammer didn't lead to anything. It kept me from going. Oh, to... uh, I see. <laughs> I, if I hadn't if I hadn't gone in front of escape and I just had like mitts and hookshot flute, you know, after the Dark Death Mountain, mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm probably going to go to, you know, let's go check out Desert real quick, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, instead of going well, in front there, of us, Dave. There, there, there was that book, though. I, I didn't have that book for a while. Yeah, so I had the... Because the... I, I had, like, this amazing early game where I just got, like, all the right decisions. I, I went to Sahas for first because I got bombs on Link's house, and then I got the hook shot from Sick Kid right away. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's right. And then, and then oh. I get Dark World access on South Shore, but I'm like, well, this sucks. You know, I got like no weapon. <laughs> let's let's just do front yeah. of escape. That's like five items, right? Yep. So I do front of escape with bombs. Uh -oh. and they got a hammer. It's like, oh my god, the hammer. Okay, no, let's, let's go. Let's go check uh, King's Tomb real quick, and then we'll go up the mountain. The flippers, the book, <laughs> the flute. Things and then very differently for me. I felt like I had a really good early game as well, since I got, you know, mids took flute early and stuff. But then I really had to clean up with that book and desert and that hammer and you know i had like a thief stone double dip and a pot double dip of those and um i wasn't too sure like uh, if i thought if you if you had a really good early game and found the hammer early and fought that mirror early then i would have no chance of winning but uh yeah the, uh, the hammer just didn't unlock anything well like, it, it made the routing nicer like i i could safely single dip thieves although you, you could have done that anyway um i got to single dip pod and and ice palace and everything that yeah. was great but there was no progression behind the hammer so if yeah. i didn't have the hammer i would not have wanted to do all those dungeons that required the hammer and i probably would have just flown over to desert real quick let's just go see what's in here <laughs> and it yeah, would have made right into that fire rod so much better yeah that, that fire rod like you got it just a little bit before illus did koi um you enter GT just a little bit earlier. I mean, you're probably not too surprised with the the big key location. Um, I know you've been doing that rando rando routing for a while. Yeah, I mean, it's you, you lose time it, it, on it, on it, like it, every other route except for one, right? Like, yep. That's the difference. <laughs> 
Like, it could have been in random room, and then could, I'm could have been and it's by four totally different. Yeah, I, I, like after I finished, I looked at the restream and it was like, Koi was first in GT. What what did he do? And uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that was that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's really fair to to blame like the loss on this one decision in GT. Like, there's a million other things. Yeah. No, no, of course not. It's really easy to focus on that because that was like a no, it was the last thing. deciding yeah. the last thing. But like you know, there's so many, there's a million things that could have played out throughout the entire seed I that mean, could have changed it. You, you both did Hera. Honestly, you know. I would not be surprised if you timed it that uh, that I lost by more than I more than what I lost from that route. I, I think Illus could very easily overtake me in the climb, <laughs> even if we did the same thing. <laughs> I mean, because yeah, there were other things that either one of you could have skipped. Like you both did Hera. Um, it was having it was doing the header Hera pot without a fire source. Didn't even get the second item. <laughs> um, yeah, that uh, that was a little unfortunate though. I, I kind of wanted that magic refill for Spike Cave and for my. Uh, mm, okay, fair enough. That, that was part of why I did uh, I did that. Mm -hmm. That makes I mean, a lot of sense. I, I could have I, I could have easily gotten just magic, but you know, getting some items along the way. This when nice I went to course. Hera, which was really early because I had the hammer so early, I just grabbed the first item. Was like, okay, that's good enough, and I left. Uh, I see. But then yeah, when I, I come back, key. when I come back like super later, like yeah. way later in the game, mm -hmm. it's like there's one item left. Uh, it might be in the big chest, and like, if it's in the big chest, I, I lose basically the same amount of time killing the boss. As I do doing hair pot or doing a mm -hmm. hair basement, so I just did the basement, and it was in the big chest, but it wasn't progression, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, Amelia, didn't have to finish the dungeon <laughs> at that point, but yeah. Uh, neither one of you touched Eastern, so if either one of you had gone into there, yeah, that's another would, place where time. Why would you I, go to I, Eastern? I, I mean, I know, I know <laughs> yeah, how you why, feel why about would you Eastern. Ever go to Eastern? <laughs> <laughs> it was starting I, to look I like the land might the... be there. I don't know. <laughs> I yeah, we were was, was that, chasing. Yeah. I was chasing the lamb for a bit, uh, and that's. Part of why I went to escape at like 40 minutes or so, and then I found the hammer, and then I had other things in mind. Yeah, yeah, for sure. As soon as I got the mirror, I'm like, oh, lamps and swamp. It's it's so it's like incredibly obvious. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, uh, yeah. The yeah, things I, that I were felt, available, the it, it had to be in swamp. So as soon as I found the lamp and swamp, I wasn't worried about left side. It was so unlikely for it to be a, the fire rod in there too. Now, plus it was one item plus a big key, which means that you could I mean, get the big key been, unless uh, you walk It would have been so yeah. nice if it was like Fire Rod and Swamp and Lamp on Mothula, but the game's not that nice to me. No. <laughs> All right, you guys get to do this again tomorrow. Uh, yeah. What modes are you guys hoping for? Inverted. Always inverted. <laughs> I don't know. They're Interesting all, choice. They're all pretty terrible. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I don't want yeah. to do any of them, to be honest. I guess the I mean, worst the worst one would be the boss shuffle one, because I feel like boss shuffle it it's not really an, an execution of skill. It's it's more of a oh I hope I hope it's not Trinex. Oh, -ho. Whoa, whoa. ice ice Trinex. Uh. Oh, I, I went to the boss of Easter and I guess I lose four minutes. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, Koi, because now the boss is on the compass that is randomized throughout the entire game. Yeah, yeah you, so you, you might not get the, it. The, the the compass in Hera and you're practicing last night. Yeah, they give us they give us this uh, really cool feature of the compass on you where the boss is, and then the tournament admins are like, "Oh man, that sucks. Let's let's just shuffle the compasses around. That'll make it better." Yeah, and I, I said to him in chat, you know, well, at least it'll be less likely that the compass will be on the boss. And sure enough, he goes and 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 defeats uh, Tower Hera. And what what's sitting there? The uh, compass yeah. to Hera. <laughs> Vitreus dropped his compass. So yeah, um, classic. <laughs> Absolutely classic. <laughs> I, don't know. I guess I, I I'd like to do regular key sanity. Like the tournament key sanity would be my best one. Mm -hmm. With the the vanilla castle tower keys. Yeah, I mean, just because that's the setting. I, I'd rather do actual key sanity, but this is fun mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think these uh, weird uh, vanilla castle tower keys and GTP keys. I, I don't know, man. I, I guess I'm I, in I, favor of GTP key, but the Agatha keys are a bit weird. They yeah. Just, um... They just make Aga more likely to be required, I think, because you don't have to search out two small keys. And, you know, if you do find two I small guess, yeah. keys in a regular key, Sandy, it's like, well, it must be an Aga seed. <laughs> 
I don't feel like the little the little tweaks to the modes really add enough for me. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, because like Needs. compared to compared to it just being the the standard way of playing these modes, like standard key sanity and, mm -hmm. and regular open seven sevens, uh, because I feel like I have to remember what the tweaks are. Mm -hmm. Right. Sure. You know, sure. <laughs> like because I play so many seeds, so many key sanity seeds, where I'm going all right, GT Biki Go mode, and if just I just accidentally forget that it's oh yeah, it's turning mm -hmm. the key sanity. How yeah. much time yeah, am, I gonna, am I going to lose because of that? Yeah, or it's, even it's, forgetting that you, you your Agas in logic without having to work with those castle tower keys. Yeah. Right. It's kind of weird because, like, aside from maybe like Ambrosia, like none of these modes are really anything people have like sat down and practiced prior to the tourney. Or you know, most of these modes you, didn't even you, exist. You like, say that, but I do not want to play Ambrosia. I absolutely hate that <laughs> mode with passion. I'm just saying Ambrosia is the only one that existed like <laughs> I, first. Yeah, it's been around prior for a couple to this years tourney. now. Yeah. I forget uh, to read uncle text like ninety percent of the time. Yeah, apparently, there's a sign that will let you you can read to to get oh, the uncle there? text later. Usually, yeah. usually <laughs> what I do is I, <laughs> I open my vod and I, I look through the vod to find out what he said. If yeah, I yeah, it. Like, it is a thing. Isn't it the sign like just north of Link's house or something? It's like, something on the like that. Yeah, I've never actually. Or it's, found it's it. either that or it's like the one on Hylia that says something about it, it being a randomizer. Something. <laughs> it's a sign by Link's house. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Oh, well, yeah, uh, and it changes your routing because, like, oh, hey, you got boots time. in Turtle Rock. Let's let's see how quickly we can get to Turtle so you, Rock and wait. get those boots. Wait, 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 what's, what's, what's what's let's go kill sign? Trinex for it. <laughs> what's on the sign? What what the uh, uncle the, says? The, what the uncle says? Oh oh, I I didn't know that. Okay, thanks for giving. Well, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad we're putting everybody on equal footing. So. Yeah. Well, I think we got to wrap this up, but uh, GG's to both of you, and good luck in your next games and future games against the other players in your group. Don't don't let Rywick bully you, Willard. You're better than that. <laughs> I, well, I'm not going to let you bully me, Koi. Uh -huh. I, I'm choosing to wrap this up, all right? Okay, I got to go okay. get some more coffee. GG. Um, was, was fun, was close. Um, thanks for your streaming. That's uh, definitely what I wanted to say still. All right, thank you. <laughs> GG. GG's. Oh. All right. Yeah. Tracy, this was fun. Yeah, awesome. I was really excited to see you uh, on as my uh, partner this morning. So yeah, glad we got to do it. I just in time. <laughs> Yay. Uh, Yay! But yeah, that will do it. Um, thanks to Willard to for joining me. Thanks to our runners for putting on a really fun show and a really nice close race. And if you haven't don't follow them already, uh, go ahead and click on those links to follow them and have not shout out our tracker yet which is something i always like to make sure i do crom our tracker today doing the hard work behind the scenes tracker is always the mvps of our tournaments can't do it without them um, but yeah that'll do it uh next races we have oh right now uh if you switch over to speed gaming three where they're uh they're ways in um but we do have linlin Lin versus tito and after that, we have a 5.10 p.m. between Penny Royal Oil and Homemade Beer. That's on Speed Gaming Main. Uh, 5.10, we have Tam versus Jewel Ninja on Speed Gaming 3. 7 o'clock, we have on Speed Gaming 2, Average Frustrated Gamer versus, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, so apologies, Dreiken? Dreiken? Uh, at 8.40, Big Dunka versus Kazen over on Speed Gaming 4. And over on the ALTTP Randomizer channel, at 10 o'clock, we have Coin Chaser versus Fred Coughlin. So do make sure you tune in to all of those. But yeah, um, Willard, uh, let's do it again. Um, yeah. And all of you in chat, That's we'll good. see you next time. All right, see you, everyone.